Indian folklore, a common and often favorite archetype is the trickster, a character who mocks and breaks convention and status quo. In our own folklore, this character is typically employed either to bring levity to serious topics or to show young audiences why certain cultural norms exist, as the trickster breaks the rules and suffers the consequences. This is also the case in Chimere. In a world fraught with danger, the peoples of Chimere almost universally hold the trickster in high regard. The trickster comes in many forms, often underscoring important aspects of a given culture. To many Telmede, a famously serious and hard-working culture, the trickster is best represented by the Riek. The Riek is a man with the head and legs of an Ibex, a playful and agile creature, which brings rest and spirits to the hard-working shepherds, miners, and farmers of the mountains. On thumb days, that is, the middle two in a ten-day cycle, the Riek is said to bring drinks to the workers to ease their troubles. In practice, this manifests as lords and employers expected to provide drink and levity, which is a great boost to morale. Although the Telmede of the mountains insist that the playful and friendly Riek is real, and many accounts of them have been reported, the scholars of Bolondokoi have not verified their existence. Considering their similarities to many known homunculi, though, many think it is likely that one or a few reclusive beings are responsible for the origin of this mythic figure. Other tricksters are not so benevolent. Lu Gashul of Kajar is a mischievous little creature that combines the traits of foxes and hares, cockatrices and deer, four banes of farmers. Its skull is exposed, and looking into its hollow eyes is said to cause paralysis. They steal and blight crops and feed on livestock. Many nobles in the Republic thought them a feeble story to excuse late or insufficient taxes, but several of these creatures have been captured. Some think them homunculi, others believe Lugashul is a strain of magic that created a body specifically catering to the plagues of farmers in their once wild homes. Lugashul are extremely difficult to kill, and none are confirmed to have been done so successfully. Yet when offered a small home near the farm and regular offerings of cookies and liquor, some will leave the farmers alone to their own devices, and on rare occasions even help with unpredictable tasks. Some tricksters are outright cruel or malicious. The merfolk of the Sarid and Kalin will often lure sailors to death by getting lost, crashing into reefs, or drowning in the marshes. Some are verified homunculi or natural demons, while others may simply be stories to warn children of the dangers innate to this volatile world. Many animals fulfill the role of trickster in Chimerian cultures. Scorpions are revered as tricksters by the Telmede for their small size yet deadly venom. The Shu consider spitting cobras of the prairies to be tricksters for similar reasons. Hares, foxes, and jackals are considered tricksters by almost everyone they encounter. The Arveleth peoples north of the Wall see the giant flightless parrot Rukel as their great trickster. What little is known of this creature certainly lives up to the trickster reputation. They are intelligent, curious, yet cautious around people. The Celestial Wall that isolates the peninsula of Kajar has many stories of these birds. The guards paint their kit to dull the shine that has lured many a parrot to scale the foliage of the wall, collect anything metallic from utensils and daggers to door locks and hinges, then disappear without a trace. Unverified tales of more malevolent behaviors exist, most horribly a penchant for dismemberment and display of meticulously cleaned skulls of man and beast. They seem violently curious about people, yet are shy enough that the Arvelis say they are one of the most difficult beasts to hunt, being impossible to find if they do not wish to be. They are so dangerous and elusive that it was not until specimens were found that they were categorized as a beast rather than a homunculus or spirit. No culture embraces tricksters as much as the Picardian. 
Although tricksters still learn hard lessons in their stories, they are usually presented in a caring light and are favorite characters. The hero and the trickster archetype are often the same character in Picardian stories. Picardian tricksters, particularly the great firebird Indrakai, show a range of portrayal, at times a teacher, others a fool. In some stories, a mentor and giver of fire or bow, and others a villain and demon maker. Tricksters were once regarded with greater respect than any other archetype by the peoples of Picardia, although a trend seen since the consolidation of the Confederacy is a greater emphasis on the warrior, healer, and leader spirits, and tricksters are now dismissed by many as the patron and favorite of children. Even so, tricksters challenge norms and convention, and any who feel they do not fit the assignments of their society in gender or passion, limitation or expression, will often find family and kindred spirit with the tricksters. The Picardians believe every animal is represented by a spirit. There are, for example, many leopards, and all leopards are bodies of the leopard spirit. Chimerans are the only beings said to have an individual spirit, as their great spirit was shattered by Indrakai. And each Chimeran is a body for one of these spirit shards, which reincarnates after the body dies. Although spiders and snakes are tricksters in many cultures, to the Picardiant, spider is the patron of arts and wisdom, while snake is the healer. The Picardiant regard four trickster families, firebirds and hares, crows and jackals. Jackals include three species, the common jackal, the fox, and the dire jackal, which is technically a species of dole. Jackals are the teachers of the tricksters. Although they are not favorite characters, their harsh tricks are lessons and punishment for carelessness, neglect, and disrespect. Crows come in three species too, the raven, the crow, and the jay crow. Crows are the agents of chaos among Picardian tricksters. When a jackal steals, it is to teach a lesson and punish forgetfulness. When a crow steals, it is for the sake thereof. The trickery of hares represents the illusion of control that people have over the forest. A garden wall is built, and the hare digs under. A foundation dug, and the hare digs deeper or leaps over the fence. When the perfect containment is made, the plants cannot grow, and all that effort kills the garden. Like Jackal, hare is a teacher, showing that one should take precautions, but not to obsess over that which a person cannot control. Firebirds are a clade of feathered dinosaurs unique to Chimer, having evolved from a basal Paravian on the polar continent of Kaishel and being brought to the known world as Picardia's tectonic plate broke from Kaishel and drifted northward over the past 40 million years. Evolving on the silent continent has given them flanged feathers, making them quiet, and a venomous bite for swift prey capture. The most successful genus is known for their retractable claws, waterproof feathering to endure the rainy island home, and expressive ear tufts convergent with those of owls. Although most are capable of agile and powerful, if not long-distance flight, an extended period of time without an apex predator in the ecosystem incentivized the evolution of the Indrakai, a 200-pound flightless firebird notorious for its intelligent, brutally efficient prey capture, and seeming respectful avoidance of human settlement. The most common firebird species, the Karakai, is easily tamed and the most popular companion of Picardian hunters. As a trickster, Firebird delights in challenging the rules. As the great trickster Indrakai explains in Trickster's Gambit, I believe you are missing something crucial here. I am a tenacious trickster by nature. Nature manifests in instinct, and instinct dictates how we should behave. My instinct drives me to trickery. This affords me a great deal more flexibility than most spirits, but I still follow the rules. 
Do I bend them as far as I can? Of course, such is my nature. I explore boundaries, push them wherever I can, but I do not break the rules. The role of Firebird in Picardian stories is to question and challenge the status quo. They can be compared in some respects to Crow, but Firebird does not sow chaos for the sake of chaos. They play tricks to show the breadth of potential within the laws of nature. There is always a method and purpose behind their chaos and games. A mastermind disguised as a mischief maker. Whether teacher or fool, playful giver or cruel villain, tricksters function as a critical element of chaos that challenge the rules humans love to assign. We lie to ourselves in a perpetual effort to simplify, restrict, and label the nuances of a complicated world, a world to some frightening in its complexity. If there is a convention we hold dear, a trickster will appear to prove the folly in assuming any truth is without exception. As many of us celebrate April Fool's Day, the festival of pranksters, remember that the best tricksters are champions of the underdog, using trickery to underscore and dismantle the rules those in power have grown comfortable in assuming could not be questioned. Challenge the rules. Sow a little chaos. Until next time, stay fantastic, and never underestimate the power of trickery.